the album is called Till Until Further Notice. Yeah. Okay, it got like what? How many tracks is on there? Twenty three. Twenty three tracks. Okay, the one that um that really touched me, where I was like, because I'm I'm dealing with some some of the same feelings, you know, emotions, was the Father Figure record, man. Yeah. 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 Tell tell me what what's the motivation behind that? What made you even write that? Uh, damn. Man. And with and with and with Father's Day right around the corner, you know what I'm saying? Like it was like, man. Yeah. Um. Well, in the writing this project in general, right? Like, I wanted to put everything on the table, really. Like, you know what I'm saying? A lot of stuff that's unsaid that usually don't get talked about in music, and just put all my personal shit on the table, really, because I felt like what was happening was I was. I'm a certain individual with my people and friends and shit, but like, as far as the entertainment world, people who follow me for my music, they don't get to see me for me. Mm. Like they see all the entertainment shit, but they don't really know me or feel like they know me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that connection piece needed to grow as an artist and make people connect to you and want to buy, want to do anything with you, business. You know what I'm saying? Niggas want to feel like they know you or they can relate or they fuck with what you're doing or how you feel about shit. Oh, I feel the same way. And so what I wanted to do is talk my truth through basically my album in hopes that it connect with people and motivate people and inspire people to just beat them unapologetically. Uh, whatever it is, get it off your chest. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Open up that conversation that nobody in the room will have and talk about this shit, man. So that was my agenda through writing the project. And through writing it, that's just a part of my truth. You know what I'm saying? Growing up. Uh, my father being present, like my biological father being living, not in jail, not dead, you know what I'm saying? Seeing me in the flesh and just act, choosing not to be a part. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Didn't do much, went around, didn't show up. And somebody I grew up with is my brother's dad. Like, he took me in. I didn't even live with my mama. So I lived with my brother's dad growing up, and he raised me. And I just felt like I wanted to give him his flowers while he here. Um, mm. I see Nipsey on your wall. I'm a big Nipsey guy, too. Yeah. And it's just like, you got to appreciate the people you got while you got them while they're here. And a lot of the times, we don't give people their flowers. We wait till they dead, and everybody's saying the marathon. You know what I'm saying? Now everybody want to talk about stuff. So I just wanted to make a song to give him his flowers while he was here and highlight good. You know what I'm saying? Because... All the time in our house, in the black communities, you know what I'm saying, you hear about the father not being present, not wanting, you know what I'm saying, not doing shit, not being there, whatever the case may be, but you never hear about the ones that step up to the plate and be phenomenal. So this is a man who, I'm not his kid, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He took, my brother, my little brother is his real son, he took both of us in and he raised me up to today. Like he's still, so shit. You know what what was the uh, what was the situation where you had to go live with him? What what was that situation? Well, he was pre- like when my mama had me, he was actually dating my mama at the time. Like, uh-huh. he, he took in a pregnant woman. Mm. Like in the song, that's how I started it. Like uh, you took in a pregnant woman, you took me in too, and so like he was dating my mama while she was pregnant, and when I was born, he was always he was already around. So mm. he already was connected to me, probably. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I can't I don't know, I was young, but yeah, I'm imagining yeah. that he probably had a love for me. And when it was a time when me and my mama was bumping heads, I was living with my mama and I knew that shit wasn't gonna work. So I was like I called that nigga and actually told him to come get me. I said it in the song too. I'm like, hey, like you have to come get me because this ain't gonna work. And it's only two pl- places that type of stuff go to man like it's gonna start getting outside of the household when you got problems in the house and that shit gonna end up having you dead or in jail yeah like, you know i ain't want to go down that path i already knew what was happening because it was just too it was too reckless for me mm-hmm. like i ain't have no understanding and she wasn't trying to help me understand and had i gotten older in that situation this like sixth grade it could have been like domestic stuff going on. You know what I'm saying? She like you hit me again, I might have popped her. That's not good, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I understand what's going on, but I knew it's going to be a breaking point, dog. And if I don't break in there, I'm going to go outside and the wrong nigga going to say something, and then I'm going to be a statistic. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, and I still had that edge for a little minute, but 
I told you I was writing. Like people that know, you know what I'm saying. In these times, I'm writing in the, in the notebook at home. I'm not doing shit. I ain't going to participate in family activities yeah. and shit, bro. Yeah. Like I was just in a bad space mentally, bro, because I ain't have my daddy. But then I was losing my mama. Like we just went connecting. You mm-hmm. get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And so that was just it. Shit, crazy. I know. <laughs> no, nah, it's deep though, it, and yeah. it's it's. Th- that's why the song is so heartfelt to me because. I didn't. I didn't have no stepdad that was in the house, but at the same situation where my dad is in the flesh, nigga is alive. He talked to my sisters. Like I know exactly where about where he live. This nigga know everything that's going on in my life through my sisters, but I don't talk to him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I felt that in the song. Um, what's the situation with you and your pops? Why y'all not? Uh, why y'all not connecting? Or do you even know why? I don't know. That's one conversation that I haven't had since that. Mm. I had to come with everybody else, you know, um, but I haven't talked to him. I don't know. It's obviously him. Like, as a kid, as a child, you want to be connected to your parent. Right. You know what I'm saying? You ask, you see other people playing with their daddy and doing shit, and you wonder where yours is, and yours say they're going to come to the game and shit. They don't. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted the relationship as a child at this point. Yeah. That, 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 exactly. <laughs> that silence, yeah. Yeah, At yeah. this point, it, it don't affect me either way. You know what I'm saying? I'll come to terms with it. Uh, I done made music, right? Like, that's my therapy, my way of being having therapy, too, sometimes. So, like, I done wrote shit. I done had conversations. I embraced the, the father figure that I have as father. Mm-hmm. And, like, I'm good. Either way, you know what I'm saying? I would, I would do it for him today, though, so don't get it twisted. Like, he probably need that piece because he might. He might feel like shit today, and he don't know how to come to me and say it, especially if he's hearing these conversations and the music. I don't know if he's hearing it, but if he is, you know, if you listening, nigga, give me a call. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm, I'm open to talk about the shit yeah. and, and get help him get through. I'm through it. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I know sometimes people reflect on their past and feel like they didn't handle things well, and they don't know how to get it back right and, and communicate or maybe afraid of what I might say. You know what I'm saying? So Yeah. But yeah. I ain't tripping on them. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever your shit was back then, that's on you. I'm tripping yeah. on my daddy. Fuck you. I'm tripping. I'm, tri- <laughs> I'm tripping, man. <laughs> Thank you for tapping in with us. In order to see more clips like this, check out this video here or check out this one here.